Okay, the, the, so the next thing I do is after I do my, my color coding, then I create something called a breakdown report, which lists uh, the scenes, the interior, exterior, the locations. It, it gives me a nice little chart here, uh, which helps with the planning for the production. So uh, we can know what characters are in every scene, what story day it is. See here it goes one, 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 one. All this is day one. And then it goes to scene day two, day two, day two. There's a lot of scene and day two. But then here's like three and then jumps to four. So, and this also says um, what day of the week the, uh, the story takes place on. I figure that out from uh, story cues. Like if people say, you know, what are you doing on the weekend? Well, tomorrow I'm going to the baseball game. So I know that when they're having that conversation, it must be a Friday. And that makes, you know, that's important for the logical continuity of the story also. All right, so while I'm doing the breakdown, I'm also, one of the reasons for dividing the script up with lines like this between the scenes is I'm also measuring how long each scene is. Scenes are divided into eighths of a page. So if, if, if it's half a page, I don't say half, I say four eighths or zero eighths if it's, um, or like one and zero eighths if it's a full page. And that's important because for the, the timing of the script, because after I have um, figured out the story days, figured out the time of day, figured it out the week, figured out how many eighths of a page, then I have to act out the entire script in my office by myself with a stopwatch. And I do a preliminary timing of the script of every scene so that I have an estimate of how long every scene's going to be. And then I add that all up to get an estimated time of how long the movie is going to run. And that co constantly will get adjusted. Um, so as you can see in this, um, ERT here is the estimated run time. And then I've every single scene I have figured out how many seconds or how many minutes and seconds each scene should be in my best guess. Um, and it gets more accurate if you're very familiar with a director's style or the uh, comedy is faster than drama. Um, some directors like long, slow scenes. Some directors are very fast paced. So um, it's an art form, but it's, it's an inexact art form. But this is my best guess of how long the scenes are going to run. And then at the end of my report, so let me show you here. Um, it says total scenes, how many pages, like 92 and I don't, three eighths, total projected running time. So that will let the, the director producer know this is how, what I estimate the film is going to be uh, in running time. And so they'll see, is it too short? Is it too long? Should we cut things? Should we add things? So I produce this break form, breakdown report, which then gets submitted. And this is all before shooting has started, all before I've even shown up for work on the first day. I've done, for a feature film, about a week's worth of work at home first, which is why we get paid for prep days before a shoot starts.